Hey everybody, welcome to today's Zoo to You. My name is Brian and I'm an ambassador animal specialist here at the Stone Zoo, where today we're celebrating World Porcupine Day with a special guest star. This year is Shadow, our six-year-old prehensile tail porcupine. Um, prehensile tail is a great name for these guys because you might notice he's got a very long tail in there. That tail is currently holding on to our little perch here because prehensile means it functions kind of like a hand. He can use that when he's high up in the trees. He can keep himself steady when he's climbing around because these guys are mostly arboreal. They were high up in the trees of Central and South America. In addition to his long tail, he's got these nice claws which help him climb in those trees. You will see he's also got a very big nose at the other end of him. His very good sense of smell, his little eyes, He's actually a nocturnal animal, so he doesn't use his eyes too much. Mostly relies on his sense of smell and those very long whiskers at the front of his face. Those allow him to feel around in the darkness, and he can smell the food that he eats. Right now he's enjoying some sweet potato pieces. And that's Shadow's favorite food. These guys are typically herbivorous, which means they mostly eat plants. Things like leaves, fruits, and veggies. Um, Shadow, again, his favorite food is sweet potato, which is what he's munching on right now. As you zoom in close, you can also see his beautiful quills. A lot of people know porcupines because they are spiky. They're covered in quills. Those quills are actually modified hair follicles. Um, they're made of the same stuff that our hair is made of, called keratin. His are just a little thicker, and they're hollow, which give him a nice structure to them. So if something were to come and attack him, he can actually stick those quills straight up, and whatever's coming at him will have to get through those quills to get to him. That'll keep him nice and safe from any predators he may have. Typically, the things that are going to be hunting porcupines like this are jaguars, but again, those quills are gonna keep him safe the majority of the time. Wanna be sweet potato bites? Absolutely. <laughs> now, they are born with these quills, but they start out pretty soft when they're born, and they actually harden over time. Um, a lot of people think that porcupines can shoot their quills, but that's actually not true. They can just kind of make them stand up on end, which makes them look a little puffier, um, but they can't shoot him or anything, so if you keep your distance from a porcupine, you're totally fine to, to be close to them and you're not at risk of being quilled. Um, you may also notice that down his back he has what look like whiskers, those are called guard hairs, and what those do is they kind of function just like his whiskers, just on his back legs. So they are very sensitive, and if he feels something brushing up against those, he'll be alerted. He can maybe turn around and smell what it is, or he can just react and puff up his quills, as I said before, and that'll keep him nice and safe from any predators that might have come later. <laughs> the only places on his body where he doesn't have quills are his nose, eyes, ears, and kind of the palms of his feet. Um, he does have a little bit of uh, fur on his belly, but they're kind of like softer quills there. Um, keeps him safe, but that is definitely his kind of weakest point. That's why you'll often see them curled around like this, keep their bellies safe from predators. He also has very bright orange teeth. Um, that orange is a, an iron enamel that keeps his teeth nice and strong. These are actually rodents. Um, so they're related to mice and rats, beavers. Um, they will continue to chew on things throughout most of their life and their teeth will continually grow. That allows them to chomp down on whatever they want, whatever they may need. Again, right now, some sweet potato he is enjoying. We've, Do you have any questions? We've had one question so far, so if you have any other questions while you watch, please feel free to ask them in the chat. Michaela wants to know if you can just remind us what his name is and what he's eating right now. That is a fantastic question, Michaela. This is Shadow. He is a six-year-old prehensile-tailed porcupine, and he is currently eating some sweet potato. That is probably his favorite food. Um, again, he'll munch on apples and some other uh, fruits and veggies, but Sweet potatoes are definitely one of his favorites. These guys are found in South Central America. They are rainforest dwellers, and he likes to live high up in the trees, as I mentioned before. Do we have any other questions? We do. So, do prehensile-tailed porcupines live in groups? That's a great question, and they do not live in groups. They are typically solitary. Um, the mom and any baby she may have will stay in a, in a small area for a little bit after the baby is born. Um, but due to their quills, they can defend themselves from a pretty young age, so they're not too dependent on their parents. Um, Shadow here actually had a uh, baby last summer. Its name was Pineapples, and the mother's name was Prickles. So, 
So oh, we've had another question and this was asked by both Allison and Glenn and they were wondering what their lifespan is. Prehensile tail fork kinds like Shadow here typically live about 12 to 17 years, um, give or take a few, but it's typically around that long. And again, Shadow is six years old, so <laughs> he's definitely still on the younger side. Dave was wondering, is it safe to pet a porcupine anywhere and do they enjoy human contact? So that's actually a pretty good question, Dave, because Shadow here, he looks pretty calm, um, but I would never recommend touching a porcupine. They are absolutely covered in quills and they are very, very sharp. Um, they probably wouldn't like being touched either. You can see again, they've got whiskers on their face, guard hairs all along their side and they are very sensitive. So as soon as any one of those gets touched, you're gonna trigger an alert system on this porcupine kind of. As you can see, I'm very careful when I hand him the sweet potato, I let him smell it. I'm not really putting it to his face and then he takes it and I kind of back away. So I would not recommend anyone touch a porcupine. I have never touched Shadow here. And hopefully we're gonna keep it that way. So Kathy and Lewis in Boston were wondering what the distance is that a porcupine can throw their quills. That's a great question and it's actually zero. The porcupines cannot throw their quills, they can't shoot their quills. That is a common myth, so it's understandable that some people think that, but their quills are just modified hair, so they can't throw their quills any further than you guys can throw your hair. Um, they can puff them up, they can kind of make their quills stand on end, just like your hair may stand on end from time to time. Um, but he can't shoot them any distance, he can just make them puffy and allow them to protect them when something comes in contact with him. Uh, so this is a really interesting question. Jana was wondering what their day looks like and if they like to play. Ooh, that is a very good question. Their day is typically a lot of sleeping because they are a nocturnal species. They don't have very good eyesight and they mostly rely on their sense of smell. As you can see when I put this sweet potato up here, you can kind of smell it around for it. Um, so their day is going to be mostly sleeping and then at night they're going to be a little more active. They're going to be wandering around, climbing from tree to tree. You can see his hands are good for gripping either food or branches and his tail is also great for holding on to branches high up in the trees. So he's going to be wandering around searching for food. Um, stuff that, you know, porcupines do, keeping himself safe from predators by staying high up in the trees away from the predators, and then also being covered in quills. Um, I haven't observed them playing too much. They're mostly solitary animals. Um, the only exception, exception to that is when mothers have young porcupines, um, but other than that, they're not going to really be interacting too much. And are they an endangered species? They are not an endangered species, um, but they do live in an environment that is unfortunately being destroyed pretty rapidly. These guys are found in South and Central America, and the rainforests down there are being cut down for agricultural purposes and human development. Um, so it's definitely unfortunate. Thankfully, the species is still doing pretty well, uh, but their habitat is not so much. Um, and we definitely want to be aware of the products we're buying and the uh, kind of ecotourism spots we're going to, to visit to make sure that they're not taking away this animal's habitat. We want to make sure that we're keeping them nice and safe because they probably wouldn't be able to take too much more deforestation down there. So this is a really interesting question that I hadn't noticed myself, but Kathy was wondering if Shadow is left-handed. <laughs> that is a very good question. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Um, he's definitely been holding them all in his left hand, but that also could mean that he's holding onto the branch with his right hand, so I'm not sure if that's just his food dominant hand. Um, maybe he's showing it off for the camera because it's on that side. <laughs> but he definitely does seem to be enjoying them with his left hand. I'll keep you updated. If all right, and we have one more question, and this is from Janine, and she was wondering, does the fact that his quills are flat mean that he is comfortable with you and his environment? That is a great question, Janine, and that is actually exactly what it means when his quills are kind of pressed up against his body like that. That means he's pretty relaxed right now. Um, if he were stressed out, his quills would be kind of spiky, maybe like your hair in the morning, and he would look really kind of angry, he'd be looking around a lot more, but the fact that he's sitting here, chilling out, eating, that's a very good sign, and he's relaxed. Probably more than anything just enjoying the sweet potatoes, but we like to think it's our company too. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys for all your questions. I think Shadow's going to maybe eat this last piece of sweet potato and we're going to be done for the day. But I hope you had a great time. Thanks for tuning in to the YouTube.